Good afternoon, how are you guys doing today? So yes, I know I am not in my regular Puma t-shirt So today is a special day for my homie Dad He's actually more like a little brother to me Dad is the close friend of my godbrother Lin And Lin is Min Mo's younger brother We used to travel a lot together So let me roll some old footage so you guys can see how Dad look like Oh boy, Dad yep. The new cameraman That's right <laughs> The photographer The photographer, huh? Uh -huh. We're going to sell her. Uh -huh. I'm going to do a backflip off the cliffs. Okay, what if you don't do it? If I don't do it, <laughs> I owe you two tacos, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no. Whoa! Yay! Yes, we did it. Sell her, 2012. Yeah. Yeah, how is it? It's delicious, man. Delicious. Only in Mexico, man. Only in Mexico. Huh? Only in Mexico. Man, you um, first time at a buffet in Vegas. I'm hit for hour mark. <laughs> How you feel? Uh, feel good. Feel good? Thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen Dad in about 5 or 6 years so I'm glad I get a chance to see him today along with my other homies. But I'm torn that I can't bring my family with me since you guys know what's going on in the world. Since I'm flying solo tonight, I figure I want to take you guys along so you guys can see what do they serve at a Vietnamese wedding. If you guys haven't been to a Vietnamese wedding yet, it's quite a treat because they usually have around 8 to 10 courses. I actually want to do this for my wedding but I didn't get a chance to do it. So I figured I'll do this for Dad so he can have something to remember by on his special day. Min Mu is going to pick me up right now so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I got these knockoff Louis for my wedding. They say uh, it's made in Italy but you know the real one is made in China. So this place right here, this is also where I got married uh, a few years ago. So if you guys are ready for some delicious uh, Vietnamese food, and let's go. So uh, this is my uh, plus one for tonight. Um, you guys know me before. His name is uh, Minmu, my godbrother. The reception starts at 6.30, but um, you know, since it's a Vietnamese wedding, we don't start eating until like 8 o'clock. So in the meanwhile, if you are hungry, they have a uh, snack bar for you right here. We got some egg roll, we got some spring roll, we got some crab puff for those who can't eat meat. We have fresh fruit and then we have a churro bar. So yeah, are you hungry? Chow down. So this is my table. As you can see, it's right next to the DJ booth. So for the rest of the video, say goodbye to the live audio. Here's the wedding menu. We have eight courses total. Starting up with crab meat and asparagus soup, seafood lotus delight salad, shrimp paste wrapped asparagus, followed by Peking duck, Kim Sun steak and asparagus, Lobster tail with kimson sauce, lobster fried rice, and wedding cake for dessert. And if you're wondering what is there to drink, we have milk tea, Sprite, Coke, beer in the cooler, and a bottle of Remy Martin. We're gonna enjoy some of this appetizer. Spring roll. Spring roll's not that bad. And if you're wondering who this is, that's my homie Roy, short for Roy Al. He's the Johnny Dang of our group, so if you're looking for that custom jewelry, he's your man. You guys want to make jewelry, come to me. Uh -huh. I'm the next Johnny Dang. Uh -huh. You know? Next Johnny Dang. <laughs> How's that crab rangu? I'm be honest. So far, the appetizer is it's so good. <laughs> Lady and gentlemen, let's welcome Dad and Teresa for the first time as husband and wife. Here come the first course, crab meat and asparagus soup. My favorite. And before we can dig in, oh, 
So the soup has crab meat, asparagus, egg white, and a little bit of cornstarch. You can eat it like this, but I like to spice it up with some pepper, soy sauce, and chili oil. Mix it up and enjoy. The soup was really good. Definitely hit the spot. Can I invite Dad and Teresa to the dance floor for their first dance? Alright bro, I didn't want the video to be taken down so I had to improvise. Mama, you gave me wings and made me fly. You touched my hand, I could touch the sky. I lost my faith, you gave it back to me. Here's the second course, Seafood Lotus Delight Salad. Also, my favorite. And before I can do the review for you guys, here's course number three, Shrimp Paste Wrapped Asparagus. And yes, another favorite of mine. If you're new to the channel, I bring my own sauce everywhere I go, so let's give this salad a try. Mmm, really good. And just like the name is basically shrimp, jellyfish, squid, mixed together with lotus root, carrot, onions, Vietnamese coriander, and Vietnamese fish sauce, dipping sauce, aka nuk mam. And this is how you know the third course is good. There's only one left and it's only been like 60 seconds. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. So good that it make you do the happy dance. And before we go on to the next course, let's take a moment and enjoy the cake cutting ceremony. And cheers to Dad and Teresa again. Course number four is the picking duck. Grab yourself a bun, a piece of duck, some shredded scallion, some cucumber, top it off with the sauce. I like to add a little bit of this chili sauce since it go with everything. It's kind of like sriracha mixed together with ketchup. <laughs> Chicken looks pretty good. What is it? Sweet, spicy. <laughs> well, fluffy bun. Mm -hmm. Crispy uh, duck skin. Testing. Hi, everyone. Yummy. Up next, we have the best man speech by the homie Tam. That was a beautiful speech. <laughs> Everybody, give a, give a hand. Hand to the uh, guys for all showing up, especially during this time of the whole pandemic. It, it shows how much it means to them. Like, it means a lot to them, I'm sure. Uh, so the next part is... <laughs> <laughs> Just watching them accomplish the goal after goal. <laughs> Even whenever you struggle, you don't, you never quit. Not until you get what you want. And that is like, I wish a lot of people had that time. So usually right after course number 4, course 5 through 7 will come out all at once. We have the Kim Sun steak and asparagus, lobster tail with Kim Sun sauce, and lobster fried rice. I wasn't too fond of this dish going up, but I actually like it a lot now. The beef is cooked medium rare, very tender, very delicious. And before I review the lobster, here's the chow bang or table greeting by Teresa and Dad. It's a process where the bribe and the groom go from table to table to personally thank the guests for their well wishes and to collect cards and gifts. Usually each table select a representative to give a quick congrats toast to the bribe and the groom. And in this case, we got Anne. She went to high school with Dad, so they go way back. We're all very, very... It's not free. It's not free though. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Look for it. I, I knew it. I'm gonna take a sip. Get that cup. No, not a sip. Ah, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh, 
So this is my first time seeing this rock lobster at a wedding. Let's give it a try. Mmm, the sauce was good, but the meat was a little bit mushy. Maybe it was just this one. We got a table to ourselves. All the food here, nobody want to eat. Except for me and Minmo. <laughs> Let's try this lobster fried rice. Can't go wrong with lobster fried rice. You guys remember this cake from earlier? Well, that's our final course. They took it to the back, cut it up, and it's actually two cakes. One is pandan and the other one is lemon. The pandan one was definitely my favorite. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And I'll see you soon. I found a girl.